which of the following actions are correct while resuscitating a neonate? All levels are required to, to know this. It's a little bit different. In the Heart Association now, 15% pediatrics. They dig into the nooks and crannies of those Heart Association guidelines. And that's why it's important why I bring this up a little bit because it's such a small part of our classes. All right, so, and provide compressions using the two thumb encircling technique. That is absolutely correct. The other correct answer is ventilate if the pulse is below 100 per minute. Now, we'll do compressions if the pulse is below 60 a minute. Good things to remember. Now, what about the other ones? We ventilate at 40 to 60 a minute. We provide compressions at the same rate as an adult and child and infant at 100 to 120. But we use a compression to ventilation ratio of three to one in a neonate. Really, that newborn thing, three to one. Why is that? Well, we think oxygen is going to have a big effect on this, that ventilation. We know that hypoxia can put a neonate in bradycardia very quickly, and that that oxygen is going to be needed to recovery, to recover. So the compression to ventilation ratio is actually three to one. Ventilation's 40 to 60 a minute, and compressions are at the same rate as an adult. Now, the good things. Two thumb encircling technique, absolutely. And yes, we do ventilate if the pulse is below 100, and we provide CPR compressions if the pulse is below 60. So we're learning in these, uh, in doing that. And these are really important topics. Now, I think this is the, perhaps the most challenging multiple response question that you're gonna see today. Which of the following patients would be tagged as yellow during triage at a multiple casualty incident. Choose two of the following five. And I think this one is challenging. Take it, take some time and read these. And this will give me a second to talk about triage too and about reading questions. All right, so which of the following patients would be tagged yellow? Let's go over triage here briefly. When you get to a, a major incident, you say, anybody can hear my voice, walk over and pick a location. You're in a big shopping center. The, you know, the pole with the big L on it, right? That move, walk over there. L for limmer. And anybody who can follow your commands and walk over there is green. That leaves you with three people on the field. Black, which is deceased. Red, which is critical. And yellow, which is in the middle. Now, every triage system is a little bit different, but there are some general things that I think apply anywhere. Patient who appears to be in shock, rapid pulse, you know, delayed capillary refill, uh, poor skin color, there's, that's one thing. Altered mental status is another, and rapid respirations, generally above 29, they're all gonna get you tagged red. So who is yellow? Yellow is everyone else. So this question I tried, I ran by some educators over the past couple of days as I prepare for these. I have a lot of fun doing this. And we tweaked this a little bit. So the confused patient who doesn't follow commands is red because they have an altered mental status. The patient with a fractured tibia and fibula is likely not critical, but they're not gonna get up and walk. So that's correct. They are yellow. A patient with a broken arm who follows directions, that will be green. Walk over to the big oak tree. That would be a green patient. An oriented patient, so there's no altered mental status, but the respiratory rate is 32. Holy cow, that's, that person's sick. They might be oriented, but not for long. That's a red patient. And then, a reclining oriented patient with a head laceration. They're laying on the ground holding their head. That's yellow too. So everybody chose that one. So the two yellows are the reclining oriented patient with a head lack and the patient with a fractured tibia and fibula. The others, two reds, the confused patient and the high respiratory rate are reds and the broken arm who's gonna follow directions is likely green. 
that's that's a challenging question. I thought was, did you guys think that was challenging as well? 